Okay. Thank you so much for waiting for the session uh, started. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, nice to see you again and continue the session. This is our last session, actually, in uh, today, the first day of the International Halal Science and Technology Conference 2023, ISATEC. Okay, right now we have the uh, participants a presenter in our uh, Zoom room, and also we have the session chair. So we have two session chair for today. Let, let me to introduce and announce the session chair. Okay, so please welcome to our session chair for today, Professor Dr. Mossad Atia Abdel Wahab. Thank you, Prof, for joining again this session. Professor of Toxicology and Pharmacology, Food Toxicology and Contaminant Department, Food Industries and Nutrition Division National Research Center, Egypt. And also the um, another session chair, Assistant uh, Professor Pradon Surepon the Halal, from the Halal Science Center, Chulalongkorn University, Thailand. Okay, let me read the profile. Professor Dr. Mossad Atia Abdel Wahab is a professor at Department of Food Toxicology and Contaminants National Research Center, Egypt. He got his PhD in toxicology from Texas A&M University, Texas, USA. He is the president of Egyptian Society of Science and Halal Product and a member in several professional organizations. He acted as a visiting professor in several universities at several countries. He conducted more than 25 research projects in the areas of food safety, food contaminant, nanotechnology, and natural product funded by national and international agencies. And he got six patents. He published more than 220 research articles in the international journals and several chapters. He supervised more than 35 MFC and PhD thesis and participated until now in 45 international conference as invited or keynote speaker. He is the co-editor for 20 international journal and was honored and awarded several prizes from many international and national agencies. Again, thank you so much, Prof. Mossad for uh, joining with us. And uh, we really hope the uh, suggestion, the comment for the presenter and the research that will be presented by uh, today's session. Okay, then the next assistant chair, Assistant Professor Dr. Pradorn Surepong, the Halal Science Center, Chulalongkorn University, Thailand, areas of expertise of Dr. Pradorn is software engineering, innovation, and halal science. Qualification and education. PhD dual degree program at University of Lumiere, Lyon, France, and Chiang Mai University, Thailand. Master of Economic Faculty of Economic Chiang Mai University. And Bachelor of Engineering, Computer Engineering Faculty of Engineering, Chiang Mai University. Thank you so much, Dr. Pradorn. Actually, Dr. Pradon is beside me. <laughs> okay, so uh, please allow me to uh, move forward and uh, give the session to our session chair, Professor Mossad, and also Dr. Pradon. Please welcome. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hello, uh, Professor Mossad. Yes, okay. Uh, since uh, I got information from uh, the organizer that we have three presenters here and we have uh, around uh, one hour and a half, okay. Then uh, I think we keep continuing the, with the same uh, schedule. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, 10 minutes for uh, presentation and five minutes for Q&A. Q &A. Uh, then uh, uh, Professor Bosan, if you have any uh, things to say before we start the the pre the first presenter, uh, please. All right. Then, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you would would like to add anything, uh, please uh, let me know. You can uh, also type in the chat box. Uh, I'm here in the in the the. 
the broadcast room. So uh, if you have any question, uh, please feel free to type in the te text box. Okay, so don't waste of the time. We can start from the uh, first presenter. Uh, I got information that the presenter is uh, in change. Yeah. Yeah, from uh, Sajarun to uh, Galib. Galib. Yes. So uh, the topic is the, the effect of the institutional governance and Sharia governance on Suku and bond performance in uh, DCC. So, uh, uh, Galip, you have a uh, ten minute for presentation, and after that, we can have five minutes from the for the question from the also the participant and the session chair, please. Okay, Mr. Galip, I think uh he is lost connection oh. because he was. <laughs> okay, maybe move to. Uh, all wait, right. Waiting. Um. Then. If he's not there, then not here. Can... this one. Right. Oh, this one, this one. Uh just just come back. Uh Sajaro just come back. Okay. I think because the connection, yeah. Uh let me assign her and him. Oh. Hello, Dr. Galib. Dr. Imna, hello. Hello, Dr. Imna. Are you there? Hello. Okay. You hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes good, good. Uh, sorry, Dr. Emna. Today she's uh, she has urgent circumstances. Uh, I am Bal Yamani. I am uh, I will present uh, do the presentation uh, for Dr. Emna. Okay. Uh, so uh, I will uh, make a presentation uh, for Dr. Emna. Okay. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, you have ten minutes for presentation and and five okay. minutes for Q and A. Thank you. Okay. I share. I share. Uh, I will share. Or uh, okay. I will share uh, the presentation. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> Okay, uh, can you see it? Yes, we can it's, see uh, it. Is, okay, up here. Okay. Uh, so today I will uh, to do a presentation for my topic, uh, my paper topic. I am Ali Amani Ghazi Muhammad and my supervisor, uh, Dr. Aisha Abdul Rahman and Dr. Imna. And this uh, part of my uh, part of my PhD thesis. So uh, the topic of, uh, of my thesis uh, is that uh, the, the effect of institution governance and Sharia governance on Sukuk and board performance. First of all, uh, in this, uh, this is, as you can see, the presentation outline, introduction and literature gap and the search objective and uh, significance, data and method and results. So, uh, introduction. Sorry, can, can uh, you make a full screen of your presentation, please? Okay, okay, just a second. Mm -hmm. Please uh, share the full screen, please. This one, uh, this one, okay? Okay. Yes, good. Uh, That's the, okay. The, the, okay. The, the introduction. Gold and Sukuk uh, increasing the capital uh, of the capital acquisition. Bond growth uh, 2014 uh, until 2021, 4.6%, uh, 119 trillion. And Sukuk growth also, uh, growth uh, from 2001 until uh, 2021, 25%, 1.42 trillion. 
according to IIFM. Uh, differences in structure and Sharia compliance lead to sukuk uh, uh, preferences in Muslim majority regulation. Asset, uh, bucket, and uh, variable return. Challenges, sukuk default raise policy concern about uh, governance issues. Uh, East Cameron, uh, about uh, 165.7 uh, million, and Kuwait investment dar, uh, dar uh, 100 uh, million, Saeed Group, six, uh, 650 million, Dubai government, uh, Nakhid, about 3.5 billion. Uh, the literature uh, in this uh, slide, as you can see, the literature gap. Uh, most uh, study focus on bond and corporate governance. Uh, there is limited st uh, study on the school performance and limited study on the combined uh, impact of institutional governance and Sharia governance, school and bond performance. Uh, in the previous finding, uh, are there mixed uh, funding and lack of uh, rigor? Uh, subject to institution and country specific context, mostly if single country study. Uh, also, there's a lack of uh, unified Sharia governance index uh, applica uh, applicable to Sukuk. Uh, uh, extending Sharia governance index focus on Zakat, and also there is uh, other index uh, uh, called the Makhasid al Sharia. Uh, written, uh, developed by Austria and Hunger Teens in 2015. Uh, the research objectives of this uh, thesis uh, to examine the effect of uh, institution governance, Sharia governance, Sukuk and bond performance in GCC. Uh, the timeline from 2011 and 2021. The first objective uh, uh, to develop Sharia governance index, and the second objective to examine the effect of uh, institution governance. On Sukuk performance, the third one uh, to examine the effect of institutional governance on bond performance. The last one to examine the effect of Sharia governance on Sukuk performance. Uh, the significant uh, the significance of the study, uh, first of all, to uh, extend the bond and uh, Sharia uh, institutional governance research to examine uh, uh, institution government and Sharia government's effect on Sukuk and bond performance. It's conducted the cross-country analysis, GCC, uh, the Gulf Corporate Council, and the uh, <clears throat> board line to explore the scope of bond or the often limited signal country of focus. Third, uh, one to develop the comprehensive Sharia governance index applicable to Sukuk. Integrating Sharia governance eliminates for, for banks and Maqasid Sharia. Uh, data and method. Data uh, is coming from financial and non-financial institutions, Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Qatar. Uh, this is because this is most active in Sukuk uh, and bond issuance in GCC, according to IIFM. Uh, 2011 until 2000, uh, 21, the active governance uh, implication after 2011, after the the financial uh, the, the financial crisis, which started from 2008 until 2012. The method of this study, Sharia governance endings, principles uh, component analysis, BCA. Uh, because we need to, this is uh, one of the method to develop uh, uh, the Sharia governance index. Second uh, one, uh, Sukuk bond uh, determinate model, uh, statistical panel data, fixed effect, uh, and Hosman test and B value. Uh, as we can see, there is a regression, Sharia performance and bond performance. We have two uh, two model. As we can see in this uh, in this slide, the development uh, variables, so cook performance and bond performance, individual variable. There is a uh, this is uh, to describe or on how to measure the dependent and the individual variable. As we can see, there is control variable, 
such as frame sizer or ROA and ROE and leverage and GDP is uh, because the, we have two kinds of country variable, country variable come from countryside, uh, country level and uh, the other one for firm level. The country level is the GDP inflation interest rate and the control variable from corporate uh, level, uh, firm size and ROA and ROE. As you can say, this is a measurement of uh, each uh, of, them, of them. The result, we can find here this table, the result of uh, the thesis or the paper. Uh, there is a factor, uh, and uh, we see here in the column uh, hypothesis one and two and three and four. We can find there the hypothesis to develop uh, Sharia governance index, and we find that it's significant of the, of the index which uh, developed uh, the second and third and fourth hypothesis to test the effect of Sharia governance and institution governance in bond and support performance. As you can see in H2, institution governance, it is significant uh, on bond and support issue and uh, support uh, performance. And uh, H3, we can find that the institution governance also, it has positive effect on uh, bond performance. Uh, and there is uh, also the Sharia governance also affected the Sukuk uh, performance. But as we can, as we know that there is uh, no Sharia governance on the bond, so that's why we didn't test it here. Uh, in the conclusion, uh, findings of this study, uh, Sharia governance affect positively the Sukuk performance and also the institutional governance affected positively the Sukuk and bond performance. Uh, the third one, robust governance enhancing Sukuk and bond performance. Uh, the limitation uh, on the, the future of studies specific uh, to GCC, Saudi Arabia and UAE and Qatar, limiting organizable to global context, compare the finding between GCC and South Asian region, Malaysia and Indonesia, because Sukuk is one as 78%. Thank you for your listening. Uh, I am happy to answer your questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Imna. Yes, uh, this is very interesting topic about the Islamic fintech. Uh, may I ask whether the, our participant uh, online, mm. if you have any questions, you can uh, either turn on the microphone and ask a question, or you can type in the chat box and I can read it for you. Mm. Right. By the meantime, I, I will have a, a few questions for, for, uh, for you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, regarding to the, you mentioned about the data collection of the, yes. of the data for analyzing. Uh, what mm -hmm. what what is the sample size and what is the duration of the data that you collect for for your methodology? And mm -hmm. and I, I will ask the second question some simultaneously so you can reply at the same time. And the second is when after analyze, I saw you get the result in the table, which is very interesting. How you can interpret the the result, what you get in in terms of performance, and how to apply to another type of Islamic context. Okay, uh, first question, uh, the timeline. The, uh, first of all, the, the study focus uh, on institutional, uh, institution, uh, financial institution, uh, company, uh, which issue in Sukuk and bond, uh, even financial and non-financial, uh, in the corporate level, okay? Uh, in, uh, in GCC and South uh, Asia, uh, uh, this is study, uh, the, uh, the, the, the time, the study beginning of 2011 and 2021, because the, uh, because the companies and the 
countries focus on governance, uh, how to apply governance in its own businesses uh, after the financial crisis. So that uh, the time of the study between 2011 and 2021, and uh, and, the, the, uh, and the companies which issue and recoup uh, our bond in each country, and also this is invested uh, company in the, the in the market. The this uh, this is the first question. The second question is: Can you repeat it, please? So the, the second question is about how to uh, how can you conclude your your result in terms of performance of uh, uh, Sukuk and Bond. The Sukuk and Bond performance measured by two things: return and uh, issuance. Okay, uh, we, we uh, the measurement of this uh, Sukuk and Bond uh, we can. Uh, Find it the, the data from uh, from uh, Bloomberg and data stream. So uh, this is the source of data, and some of the the variables comes from uh, annual report, uh, such as R O R O A R O E, uh, and this is we we just uh, do it as a control variable, and then. We take the number from uh, Bloomberg's and we can run the regression. So, uh, about uh, uh, the, what you call it, uh, the development index uh, of Sharia governance, uh, we can take from two kind of uh, of uh, index which developed by Hunger Team from Gazette Sharia and the others, and we mix it and to, uh, uh, do an uh, BCA me uh, uh, measurement, and we take it uh, what uh, is uh, the similar and, and put uh, more uh, variables such as. Uh, uh, Sharia uh, supervisory board, and uh, we uh, we created a new 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 index of Sharia governance. So uh, when then we take it the, the from the World Bank, uh, the the what you call it for institution governance indicators for each country and see the impact of the Sharia governance on, on, uh, on, the, on the performance. Uh, on the performance of Sukuk and uh, Sukuk and Bond. See, that, they, then we find that uh, there is, a, there is a significant impact of some of the elements of the uh, of, uh, Institution governance on Sukuk and Bond reforms. So I hope I answered the questions. Right. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor you. Professor Mossad. Uh, do you have any uh, questions for our presenter? Please. Thank you very much, Doctor Baran. So, uh, thank you very much, Doctor Sergeant. Uh, now we are going to do the next presentation. Uh, the presenter is the uh, Doctor Ryan Aziz. And the presentation entitled The Influence of Halal Labeling on Food Brushing Discussion is a study of uh, Islamic University Bandung and the UITM Keda Malaysia. Please start. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you are uh, good in good health. I just finished to do. I did the presentation. I hope I did it as you want, but I try my best. And then, then I want to ask you, what uh, about your father health? He is good. He is uh, to me. Uh, to me. 
the information. I just I want to ask uh, about your father. He is good now. Please inform me. I ask a lot to help him and protect him, and he will be soon, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, then I think we can uh, continue for the next presenter. Okay, uh, Mr. Rahan, Aziz, are you uh, yes. ready? Yes. Okay. Okay, Professor. Uh, yes. Okay, wait. Uh, is okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, before I introduce myself, thank you very much for Mr. Ani for giving me time to explain my journal, and thank you also for for Professor Mozart and Professor Doctor Prayden Surefong okay. for listening to me explain this journal. Uh, right. Uh, for next is uh, I introduce myself. Uh. My name is Rehan Ajis. My advisor for this journal is Dr. Nurali SAMC AKCA. I am and Dr. Nurali from Bandung Islamic University from Faculty of Economic and Business uh, Accounting Major. For my <coughs> title of journal is The Effect of Halal Labeling on Food Processing Decision, uh, a case study of Bandung Islamic University and UITM Kedah Malaysia. For first is introduction. Uh, Indonesia is a country with different nationality, society, and religion. This variety, variety is allowed by the role of unity in diversity and is significant different but one. Various clan in Indonesia produce various extraordinary things such as uh, house, clouds, mel melodies, movement, and food. Various food uh, source created by clan that where once since a public evidence enjoy only by actual clans are now transformed into the travel industry, which is now called the culinary travel industry. For the culinary and the travel industry can help regionally economy, especially regarding limited scope organization. Public authority noticed that in 2030, uh, 30, the culinary zone contribute a gross value at of uh, 208 trillion with typical development 4.5% from 2012 to 2030. The colony zone also maintains a workforce of 3.7 million people with typical development on 0 0.226%. Special units made from culinary zone are not 3.0 million with a typical development of 0.9%. Uh, In this way, the travel culinary industry is consider considered as a basic component that serves as cement for the advancement of travel. Give that the travel industry is a multi-quality zone as, and soon as an interest and a feature of Indonesia travel industry is from Izudin in two, uh, 2018. For the next, uh, we can see here, this is the total Muslim population in the Asian region in 2022, with Indonesia taking the first place with 2,306,000,000 Muslim, and the Malaysia taking the second place with 19,800,000,000. Uh, for the Malaysia, Malaysia is a country that cares a lot about the halal logo and term of domestic and foreign company need to get halal. For the get halal logo improved from Jakim and the Islamic Religion Council in their representation country. Is this mean? Uh, uh, say mean. It is important for consumers to gain their trust in halal logo, especially Muslim. The study of halal logo in in Malaysia here is carried out in the area of interest. The halal logo play an important role to strike user confidence and confidence in in food and guts is from Amana in two thousand and ninety. 
The word halal and its structure when displayed on goods and place has a unique appeal with a Muslim buyer in Malaysia. They skip that the halal issue is not just about the logo used by food maker, but include the absolute quality control standard involved in observing the slab, care a stock filling cycle of creature, as well as all ingredients which is preparing food. For the literature review, for the level definition, the level definition of halal is letting go and not being found. In the context, it can be said epistemological that halal is free and not limited by laws that prohibited it. The Quran contains a clear statement regarding the limits of halal. Found in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 168, which reads, O oh, everyone, consume the lawful goods, goodness of this planet again and do not follow in Satan first step. For Satan is actually your true enemy. <clears throat> While the Ministry of Threat of the Republic of Indonesia number 580 of, of 2001 concerning the inspection and determination of halal food is does not contain any element of ingredient haram or prohibited for consumption by Muslim, and their processing is not contrary not to Islamic law. In addition, it can be said that halal labeling allow company to place the term halal on the pack packaging or packaging on of their production. Image, logo, color, and marking that determine the halal status of product or service are referred to as halal labeling is from Runari from 2021 and Joko Sembrono in 2020. Uh, we can see here for the leaf is changed in the logo in Indonesia. On the right uh, are several logo in several country. Is the difference between halal logo in other country at the less Indonesia halal logo by BPGPH uploaded by Ustaz Felix Yao on his personal account on Instagram. For uh, the de definition of forcing decision, decision can be interpreted as decision to make choice from uh, from more than one possibility, and this can be achieved after going through process considerings so as the to decide to choose the best one for consumer is from Kotler 2090. There are two dominant factors that influence forcing processing decision, namely the motivation of consumer to obey the wish for of other who are considered to have more value and second is a lot of advice from other factors above choice that has been made by consumer is from Qatar 2 in 2019. After obtaining a halal certificate is the from Halal Label Foundation, one can obtain a halal label, a written fatwa from the Indonesia Ulama Council or uh, MUI in Bahasa Say Majelis Ulama Indonesia that provide that halal status of product in accordance with Islamic law is called a halal certificate from the Malaysia is Say Jakim. To get permission from the authorized government agency to put halal label on the project uh, product packaging. You must have the halal certificate. What is meant by halal product is that they are good that in according with Islamic law, meet halal recruitment. The following are necessary for a product to be halal. It is without pork and pork the referred ingredient does not include prohibited substance. Uh, this is a foundation from government that takes care of the halal logo. On the left, there is a jakim, which means Malaysia, uh, Jabatan Kemajuan Islam Malaysia logo. And uh, for the right side is MUI logo, Indonesia Ulama Council, or, or in Bahasa Say Majelis Ulama Indonesia. For recent methods, the study used a quantitative verification approach and used a convenience sampling method with a sample of sites of uh, 19 people using random sampling te technique and sampling technique. The, sam the population in this study was Bandung Islamic University st student and Malaysia citizen. The data collection method is, is in this study used questionnaire questionnation. This intro instrument is research using validity test. Uh, this uh, question on on the form for this questionnaire include uh, for the X is halal label, 
uh, and the uh, yeah is decision to buy food products product using a few thirty uh, obtaining the following results for the hypothesis uh, hypothesis uh, hypothesis testing. Uh, I won't explain each uh, each one, but this is the result of my analysis and correlation, and this. This is the result of a comparative correlation between two countries for the Indonesia and Malaysia. Uh, this for the X, in this for the Y. Uh, for previous previous research related to halal products technologies, the following is a table of supporting journal where the journal explained that awareness of halal production particularly medits that uh, the relation between religiousity, halal chronologies, and first uh, intention of halal food. For, so this five is give uh, contribution to the strategy of growing chronology of halal food. For the conclusion, based on the test result, it can be concluded that the level of chronology has a positive and significant can influence on forcing decision. The significant value of time zero is is less than the establishment significant level zero point zero five. So hypothesis one and uh, until four, starting that the level of chronology has a positive and significant effect of forcing uh, process decision are ex acceptable. This result indicate that the higher on food product processing decision. This applied to both respondents from Malaysia and Indonesia. In a scientific context, the finding support the initial hypothesis pro proposed in the study, showing a stro strong correlation between consumer level of chronologies regarding a product color statue and their decision to push the product. Therefore, it can be considered that a good understanding of halal level has a significant positive impact in shaping consumer preferences and processing decision in food market, both in Malaysia and Indonesia. And also, accordance with the comparison of previous journal to support this study, and find that halal labeling can influence respondent in making food processing decisions. For the last one is recommendation limitation and future research. A detailed, a detailed study of additional factory influencing food processing decision in addition to halal labeling may be the subject of subsequent research. Future investigation into the role of culture and religious value in the context of processing decisions may provide valuable additional insight. Business pressionary in the food section are expected to be understand the importance of halal labeling as a key factor, factor in influencing consumer processing decision. Marketing strategy that emphasizes the clarity and leg legitimacy of product halal status can increase consumer confidence and support sales growth. Reviewing the result of the study, the research limit limit this problem only to the definition of the halal label and how the comparison between Indonesia and Malaysia in making precision decision for food that has been stepped with the halal label. Due to the outer limit time, like of experience in making journal and the first time in making data processing journal using a few thirty. And for writer who will use the same term, it is hope that they will look for more reference, go to the field and look place that can be used as research material and also the number of people who will become respondents. Uh, okay, that's all for me. Thank you very much. Sorry, maybe my language is not good at all. Terima kasih banyak. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Rayhan. Thank you. Uh, Professor Mossad, want to... Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you very much, Dr. Ryan. Thank you for that presentation. But I have a comment on your presentation. It was uh, very, very long because you should, but the introduction was very long. So you have to put the introduction in some bit, some point. 
and also the conclusion. Don't say much talk about it in the introduction because you, uh, the, the, the presenter, the audience cannot understand everything you said. He need or she need some point in the introduction and also in the conclusion. This, uh, you can consider this in the next presentation, inshallah. Thank you very much, Dr. Ayat. Thank you. Right. Uh, thank you, Professor Mossad. Okay. Uh, we have uh, one question from the participant in the chat box. So I will I read it for for you. What is the criteria of a uh, respondent? And this is the first question. And the second question is how you calculate for the sampling. So there's there are two questions. Uh, I will ask for the first question is uh, what a criteria a criteria for of respondents uh, from uh, for, for Indonesia we use uh, uh, for a student in University of Islamic Bandung uh, because uh, say in the title uh, for the student student is Uh, was study at the University Islamic and Band uh, uh, University Islamic Bandung uh, for the Malaysia. Uh, I I same uh, for like Indonesian, uh, like Indonesian uh, respondent is UITM Kedah Malaysia student. Uh, for the calculate uh, of the sampling, I use for uh, first questionnaire I collective in spreadsheet or maybe Excel. Uh, I use x1, x2, x3, x.1, x.2. For the next, I use f use for uh, see how calculating uh, con uh, conclusion for uh, what's meaning of the res respondent say. I think that's uh, I answer for the question. Right. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Rahan. Okay, uh, we ran off the time. Thank you very much for your presentation. And I think we can move forward for for the next, and I think this is the last presenter for this session, right? So we have... Uh, um, uh, two, two, uh, two more, okay, sorry. Uh, we can move forward uh, to the next presenter. Uh, the next is... Uh, Mr. Okay. Uh, Mr. 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 Sorry, uh, Mr. Sainun. Okay. Uh, the topic of uh, prophetic uh, marketing of halal product to Generation Z. So the microphone is yours. So you have 10, 10 minutes for presentation and five minutes for Q&A. Please uh, take your time. <clears throat> Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is okay. Uh, my my voice is is clear. Okay. Uh, my name is Zainul Arif. I am a student of doctoral program in Dakwah Science Ashafiya Islamic uh, University, Indonesia. Uh, the title of my paper is Building Emotional Connections, Prophetic Marketing of Halal Products uh, for Generation Z. Uh, today, we are entering an era where Generation Z has and is becoming a significant consumer force for all industries and even all areas of life. <clears throat> This research attempts to explore the impact of marketing strategies that focus on prophetic values in halal products on Generation Z's 
uh, consumers' preferences and decisions. Uh, through a behavioral analysis approach that has been carried out by many researchers on Generation Z, it shows the importance of uh, efforts to build long-term emotional relationships through humanist marketing. Uh, a deep understanding of how the halal product industry manage the Generation Z segment properly is the main foundation for building an effective marketing strategy in the global market. So uh, we, so I want to uh, direct to uh, the concept. Yeah, uh, the concept of prophetic uh, marketing reaches the widest scale as the mission of the Prophet Muhammad uh, وسلم, in Surah Al Anbiya, first. Uh, 107 wama arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alamin and we have not sent you the prophet muhammad but to be a mercy to the universe to the world the halal <coughs> uh, product the halal products uh, should be marketed inclusively openly globally acceptable and beneficial by all nations races religions and any skin color. <clears throat> then uh, prophetic marketing is based on Kunto Wijoyo's prophetic terminology in prophetic social science, which explains that uh, social transformation. Social transformation includes three elements of the prophetic paradigm uh, based on Quranic interpretation of Surah Ali Imran, verse 110. Kuntum khayra umatin ukhrijat linnas, ta'muru nabil ma'ruf, wa tanhawna anil munkar, wa tu'minu nabillah. You are the best people born for mankind, for human, enjoying the good and for biding the evil and believing in Allah. So, the three elements of social transformation are Amar Ma'ruf or inviting to goodness, which is, is then interpreted as humanization. Secondly, Nahi Munkar or preventing bad deeds, which is interpreted as liberation. And Imani Billah or uh, faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is interpreted as uh, transcendence. Yeah. <clears throat> In generally, in general, halal products are perceived at, as a product that are specially aimed only at the Muslim. Uh, the element of uh, transcendence dominates the marketing of halal products rather than humanist and creative elements. Uh, while products that are not labeled halal are marketed very humanistic and creatively. <clears throat> on the other hand, on the other hand, uh, there are there is a, a market segment that is very influential for the future of the industries. They are Generation Z, yeah. the generation born between uh, nineteen ninety six and ten yeah, comprises 40, 41. Yeah, 41 percent or 3.2 uh, billion uh, and uh, 3.2 billion yeah, of the world population. Yeah. A study by Goldman Sachs found that almost uh, 50 percent of uh, Generation Z is online for 10 hours a day or more. Uh, while they are still very young, they have a major influence on family buying decisions. Generation Z uh, tends to be tolerant of cultural differences and very concerned about the environment more independent than uh, previous generations. And they are growing, prefer working and learning on their own. So 
prophetic marketing of halal uh, products shouldn't uh, shouldn't uh, should not yeah only be limited to working on the Muslim market, which is currently uh, 1.8 billion uh, people, but also be able to work on the non-Muslim market, yeah, which is uh, 6.2 billion people. The market challenge can be found the answer by applying prophetic marketing with the target market of Generation Z. So uh, prophetic marketing that uh, emphasize humanist values and creativity fits well with the values uh, held dear by Generation Z, who they are very concerned with humanitarian and environmental issues, as well as freedom of expressions in the sense of creativity that is responsible for the values of morality, plurality, and also spirituality. <clears throat> <clears throat> prophetic marketing of halal products can be applied to various uh, some programs that are in accordance with the living habits of Generation Z. Uh, number one is chatting. Yeah, chat comments, uh, pro and con responses, testimonial, testimonials, or story sharing experiences when using or interacting with products in Generation Z contribute yeah, to building a brand, image, product, and perspective, which is uh, which in turn can affect the increase in sales. Number two, uh, Generation Z is a generation of innovation. Social media content creators are dominated by them. Yeah. Generation Z is not only a social media activist, but also an impactor or impactivist, not only activist, but uh, impactivist yeah, on the behavior of the global community. And number three. You have two minutes. OK. Incorporating technology and innovation. Yeah. Uh, uh, and number four, engaging in social awareness activities. So next, uh, the next. Uh, some prophetic marketing effort in maintaining relationship and building point, yeah? transparency and authenticity, communicating quickly, yeah? uh, multi-channel experience, respect diversity, presence in gaming, uh, videos, e-sport, and streaming, uh, flexibility, and number six is uh, flexibility and adaptability. Okay. Uh, I think enough my uh, presentation. Thank you for the opportunity and attention. Uh, the truth uh, comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mistake and weakness come from me. Uh, therefore, please criticize for the uh, improvement of this paper and apologize for anything that is not pleasing. Jazakumullah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Uh... Dr. Sainul, uh, Professor Mossad, do you have any questions for the presenter? And for all participants, if you have any questions, you can turn on the microphone or you can also type in the chat box. Right. Uh, Sorry. Yes. Please, Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And now we are going to the next uh, presentation. Um, <clears throat> Shabrokoi and the presentation entitled Developing a Product by Increased Value of the salted fish, Kalo by Ba Anon Takbal Community Enterprise. Please start. Dr. Khaliba, Avila. <clears throat> Dr. Avila. I'm... 
I'm sorry. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Right. Actually, uh, sorry, uh, Professor Mossad. Uh, I think the your signal is uh, not uh, stable, so it's not really clear for for participant. It's but it's okay. Good. Uh, I I I have a very short question regarding to regarding to the 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 collection of the data uh when you know behavior of the generation z uh and at the conclusion how you make a link between between uh the marketing model and and the generation z uh behavior is there any methodology or, or any data collection from from survey or some uh ground work yeah okay uh i i uh i set my paper uh based on library research just only uh, library research yeah uh because uh I, and i i i don't uh collect data from survey no uh because there are many uh, researchers yeah so many uh, so many researchers uh, they they research about generation z and and i try to to connect yeah the phenomena and the uh, and the uh, and the result of the uh, research from from other research researchers yeah uh, to the theory of uh, social transformation, especially from uh, Kunto Wijoyo paradigm. Yeah, Kunto, Kunto Wijoyo uh, set the 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 terminology prophetic, yeah, prophetic in social science. Yeah, so uh, we apa, uh, I try to to connect it yeah, from from the paradigm and the phenomena yeah and the phenomena and the and the data yeah and the data from from library yeah? from the from the from some researchers right uh, thank you yeah. yeah i i see the i this is very interesting and i see the improvable point for your presentation if uh i, I i'm not sure in the future if you can go uh, to the in to the uh, in depth interview with the generation Z, and you can have the model to to do the interview. Uh, even if it's a struct, constructive or semi-constructive uh, interview, I think this will be a benefit for for your further uh, research, and it will make the things your research more concrete. Yeah. Any question? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any question? Any question? Uh, Oh, so is that a question? Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, yes, there is the question. A, a question in the chat box. So you said that uh, it's a very good uh, research, and you said that the halal should be globally acceptable by any countries and religion. How do you see the current condition where some of the Western Western countries get the Islamic for uh, Islamophobia? Uh, that is the first question. And the second question is, what are the challenge and how to tackle it? Yeah, so it's a connected uh, question, please. Yeah, okay. So uh, we learn, yeah. we learn about uh, Muslim world, yeah. Muslim world and the global community. Yeah. Global community uh, until uh, uh, now uh, still has uh, still pers uh, perception uh, um, minus perception I think yeah, about Islam yeah. uh, overall yeah uh, terrorism right and then <laughs> uh, anything yeah anything is negative yeah uh, so uh, I think we can uh, we, we we cannot uh, blame uh, the outsider uh, I, I prefer uh, we 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 do self correction. Yeah, 
self correction uh, this is uh, the responsible of uh, dua yeah uh, I, and i think all muslim yeah all muslim we yeah uh, and and the and the marketing of product halal uh, uh, in my in my paper and maybe we can we can uh, see yeah, the the phenomena the the product halal uh, to uh, to dominate about the uh, about the as, uh, transcendence aspect yeah. transcendent aspect so kunto wijoyo uh, is different yeah it, it, I, i think marketing is a social science yeah so uh, we lack about uh, we lack we lack of uh, human humanity aspect yeah. and creativity uh, aspect yeah in the marketing of product halal Uh, rather than non halal if i think we are agree right yeah so uh, we we search from the from the journal from the article uh, it's indicated i think uh, 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 and that's we right. can uh, my answer right? right thank you very much for your answer uh, let's uh, continue to the last presentation uh, Mr. Habila Sapakia on the topic of developing product by increased value of the salt salted fish uh, gulao by uh, on uh, duck by community enterprise so uh, Mr. Habila you have 10 minutes for presentation and 5 minutes for Q&A please Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Habila Jepakia from the Halal Sustainable Social Cause University. Today, would, I would like to tell about the study of the developing uh, product by increased volume uh, of the salty fish gulao by part one that by com committee enterprise. C can I share the slide? Yeah, please share the slide. You see the slide? Yes, we can see the slide. Okay. Yeah, first of all, uh, I want to talk uh, about the introduction because uh, the development of industrial promotion under the mystery of industrial life as the uh, increase the by the willingness we can find make the innovation and the technology to become the SME. We found that in the talk by in Narasiwa about that the part one uh soft gulao fish they make about this about 15 years old regarding is uh, they also in the old top five star champion now the success breed from the traditional and also main going to the uh a, a, a bit the famous uh famous fish in Narasiwa but so all the problem is the The thing they just only have the sauce, soft fish. Uh, I mean, say we have to like the do the thing in the healthy pulao in the sunflower oil, and uh, we do the sizing and the chef like reduce sauce and also we find the thing we uh go become the good taste and also creative the target in the health people or uh, the customer the one the healthy food and also mending the fl flavor also we have to make in in the goods and so on the have to be the product of part one sauce the pulao fish also first uh, of all the objective that we do we create the new product of the smoothie taste in the healthy pulao fish in the sunflower oil to become the the ready to eat the product for the part one uh part one the the pulao fish from the duck by narrative one and two to this main knowledge is about the production and processing all for all the smoothie just in the healthy pulao fish in the sunflower oil to be ready to eat the product 
uh, the third one is the uh, we do the, the study the customer accepted for the formulation that we make the smoothie taste and healthy for this product. First of all, the methodology we do, we develop the formulation of the smoothie taste of the pulao fish into the results. We start uh, the fish in the good size in the about 700 gram, which as the cleaning and mix with the sauce. You want in the three formulation. First formulation we do in the about one hour in the sauce. Uh, the, the formulation too we do in the three hour for more for, for that and uh, the third one we do that uh, about six hour after that we dry it about five or six day and the three formulation after we do all the thing together we testing with the uh, some of the consult team and the entrepreneur we find that the good the good uh formulation or system we do first of all we find the 700 gram of fish the gula fish is better and we clean and mix so leave in about six hours that the good formulation what that we find and then dry in the sun the stain or uh, tail hang up upside down about three about five or seven days depend on the sun Sunrise and we cut off the head, the tail, and we put the nearly slide it into the east piece about one uh, cm centimeter, and then we take 100 gram of fish, put into the glass the bottle about 400 ml, and we add all the uh, 135 ml of the sunflower oil put inside that, and then we cap it and seal it. After that, we do the testing of the this product. We find a simple, the group of people is about the thirty people had the, uh, uh, tested the smoothie. We do the five hydronic scale to be, but the average score is about four, four point three thirty two, and then <clears throat> the customer, customer or uh, this group of customer, uh, comment is about it's okay. There is just but it's also very, uh, not very saucy, but, uh, and also good, they can accept it for this product. And so all the result of study, the recipe to create a new product for Pulau Fish and the unique product, the committee of the part one, uh, stuck by Narashiwat is uh, a case of study committee interpreted in the part one. This one, we need to improve more uh, a bit recipe and put the transfer technology, this one or process about the pull-out fish, the product in the new flavor recipe, healthy and they're ready to eat. They, we make in the sunflower oil because uh, the customer can take this product, put into, can cook uh, to be ready to eat in more easier than the on the product one, you can see in the picture the old product one, the fish, one fish together. Because some customer they 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 want to be just small amount of product. This one we we, we solve the that problem. Uh, the conclusion of this will be customer specific level will be uh accept the recipe of the health option. The product will be ready to eat. Because we put fish in the sunflower oil, make it that for be ready to eat, and also the customer want to be the healthy product inside. You can see the product. The finally we, we make the product for sale. We try to sell some of this product, and the customer will be more order and that. But the thing is, we have the limitation and the future the results. In the program of industry of customer we list is only about one committee enterprise was the selected, the one we select. So, but in the future for research and development project, we'll be increase more committee into enterprise and join together in, in the group for be the research will be collaboration and the transferring and generating new knowledge to be in the committee and 
in the future will be put this product or any product that we develop to in the market channel to be made more increase the price of the particular fish. That's all. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Avila. Uh, so for the questions, uh, I'm sure that uh, Professor Mozart, you have any question for Mr. Habila or participants? Uh, okay. Uh, just uh, one question about the uh, sensory test. How many tests did you carry uh, carry out? Did you carry out uh, only uh, test? Did you ship the smell of the fish? What about the smell? Uh, be because the we we put this fish, uh, normally in the normal normal product, the, this fish, uh, that that you can know the soft fish, uh, the meal is, uh, not very, very good. But someone say say it's a very strong one, uh, because we put this fish into the sunflower oil, uh, the customer they accept the. Oral oil or the smell of that because it's not very strong for smell that. It's because sun, sunflower oil they they stop the some of smell that. That why we we put in the sunflower oil. So the oil. smell was acceptable. The smell the yes, smell of the, the fish was acceptable, acceptable for them. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Professor okay. Mosad. Thank Thank you. Uh, thank you. any question from the audience? Okay, uh, yeah, I have uh, two questions for Mr. Habila. The first question is regarding to, to the topic of the presentation is about the uh, adding the value to, to the product. Have you uh, already analyzed a little bit that how many percent or how many, what is the ratio of the product that value added after this process? Uh, the we we calculate the thing uh around because normally is the seven hundred gram of fish, uh bakulao fish after we do the, the the softy we we can increase the price is about twenty percent of that, after we calculate all the thing. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's a uh, good number. That's the my my second question is this is the last question is about the the score of the 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 product testing with a customer and and the testing score is 4.32 uh, uh, if i'm not wrong yes. yeah yeah how, how how the result from the product testing can improve the your product in in the future is there anything that can be improved for the future uh because the the point is four point is about five actually and then uh the three point 32 is uh, mainly we, we can accept that the product and uh, we find all the things. Uh, we need to more improve about the packaging actually because uh, because we, we find the thing, we find the thing is uh, we need to improve about the uh, packaging is not the product. Mm. Because the product, uh, people like to, to have this product. Uh, they say it's a very good one, but uh, we think in the group 3.32, maybe something or uh, oral or the thing, it can be okay. Right. Okay, uh, that is a uh, good comment and, and good suggestion for, for the future work on the packaging. Yes, uh, I'm not sure that, do we have further uh, presenter or we have only four? Okay. Okay. I think we had a very good presentation in this session. We have four presenters and we have a very good uh, Q&A session. Uh, on behalf of uh, organizing committee and the Halan uh, Science Center, I would like to thank you, uh, Professor Mossad, for being uh, one of the session chair. And I would like to especially thank uh, all the presenters that make an effort to present in this session. And thank you for sharing this kind of uh, uh, research work. And hopefully you uh, uh, you can next time you can uh, visit 
participate uh, yeah. physically. I'm very happy to see all of you here in, in Bangkok in next year. And, and thank you very much for being with us. From Dr. Masad. Uh, from... Dr. Masad, you, uh, you would like to say something for the presenter? Maybe the connection problem. Uh, Professor Mozart, do you want to say something for the conclusion of the session? No. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Salamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for a uh, very excited uh, moment and session with Prof. Mossad and also Dr. Pradhan. Uh, and a congratulations to all the uh, presenter and the speaker of this session that already uh, finished the presentation. So thank you so much for your effort for your energy. I hope that this uh, vibrant ambience can encourage yourself to improve the quality of the research and also, of course, to open uh, more collaboration, not only with the another speaker, but also maybe with the collaboration with the session chair. So thank you so much again, Prof. Mossad and also Dr. Pradhan. Thank you. Then uh, now we move to the certificate of presentation session giving. So I would like to invite the session chair to uh, read aloud to announce the certificate for all the presenter. So maybe uh, the first, maybe uh, Dr. Pradhan will uh, read regarding the certificate uh, presentation. Right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so uh, I would like to announce the certificate of the academic presentation. Uh, to Mr. Al, Al Yamani Galib uh, Muhammad from Al University uh, Kebang, Kebangsan, Malaysia, on the manuscript entitled The Effect of Institutional Governance and Sharia Governance on the Suku and Born Performance in GCC. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Mr. Galib Muhammad. Okay, then the next. Okay, uh, sorry. Okay, okay, the next, please welcome Prof. Mossad to uh, read the certificate of the presentation given to the participants or presenter. Congratulations, uh, Dr. Megan, uh, for your presentation and for, for, for your attendance of this uh, conference. Uh, Thank you very much and uh, congratulations for your certificate. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, Prof. Mossad. Thank you. Okay, the next, please welcome uh, Dr. Pradhan. Yes. Uh, congratulations uh, to uh, Mr. Zainul uh, Arif uh, from As uh, Asaya. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, Islamic University. Okay, for the manuscript entitled uh, Prophetic Marketing of Halal Products to the Generation Z. Thank you very much and congratulations. Okay, congratulations to Mr. Zeno Arif for the uh, certificate of academic presentation. Okay, next. Uh, please welcome Prof. Mossad to congratulate. Dr. Uh, Apila, congratulations here and uh, thank you very much for uh, your uh, presentation and for your uh, talk in this conference. Congratulations, here. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, thank you so much, Prof. Masad. Congratulations to uh, Mr. Habila 
for the certificate of academic presentation. Okay, now it's time for group photos. So I uh, would like to invite all participants to open the camera. And then we can uh, capture our moment today. Okay. Okay, let me check. Okay, here is uh, the account uh, Miss Santi also with the team of Hello Center. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, please get ready on my count. One, two, three, then give me the best smile of today. Okay, are you ready? Okay, on my count, yeah. One, two, three, smile. Okay, nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Prof. Mosa, Dr. Pradon. Thank you so much thank for you. your uh, info in this uh, session, for your comment, suggestion. It's really, really uh, beneficial for all the presenters yeah, of uh, today's session. I hope that the uh, moment is not end by this uh, by today, but also everyone of you can uh, continue the collaboration. Okay, then maybe I would like to invite um, Mr. Habila to, uh, if you uh, uh, mind, to uh, sharing what the what you feel and what the experience you feel regarding the um, presentation session of uh, uh, today international conference. Please welcome Mr. Habila. Okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Well, well, for sorry. this section, actually, we we, we get the all, I think, the different kind of knowledge, man, and then we, we find all the experience to be good for our life, actually, our life presentation, and also presentation is about all the, about how long the product, and also the, the thing, I think we can improve the thing or to be good for the study and, and anything else with be good experience. Thank you. Oh, thank okay. you. Thank you so much, Mr. Habila. Success for your research and also the uh, project yeah, in uh, Halal Science Center. Okay, then I would like again to remind all the uh, participants, the presenter, the attendees to fill the feedback form. You can scan uh, the uh, QR code here or you can click the link that sent by the admin. This is very important for us to improve the quality of the organizing the international conference. I hope that we can see, we can meet each other next year, yeah, uh, on site in Bangkok. Uh, and then we can uh, feel the different ambience of the research presentation. Then, uh, of course, sure. the um, opportunity for collaboration for continuing the discussion and sustainability of the uh, network uh, will continue after this international conference. Let's to continue the discussion, network and opportunity by login and sign up in Global Research Ecosystem Community Platform. So right now, so many scholars around the globe already registered and open for research collaboration. So please to uh, register yourself, then you can uh, see you can uh, catch up with the uh, discussion regarding the halal science, halal research, or another topic, another research in the global research ecosystem community platform. Okay, then I remind all of uh, the presenter and also the co-authors regarding the post-conference publication timeline of the Ixtaftec 2023. So after this conference by today's presentation, we are still waiting for the revised full paper uh, through the conference email info at isatech.com. Then after that, uh, the deadline for the revision until December 10th. Okay, don't forget. Then after that, we will do the plagiarism checking process. And then if the author still have any plagiarism issues, so we still open for the opportunity to revise until December 20. Because after that, the full paper will go to the scientific reviewer for evaluation, the content of quality, and then giving the journal recommendation. The journal recommendation will be consist of a two kinds of the journal recommendation. The first one is the Scopus or Web of Science recommendation, or the another one is another indexed journal such as the OAG, EBSCO, Copernicus, and etc. And of course, you can check the email 
uh, please also check the spam folder because sometimes our email goes to the spam folder. So please check. Then you can uh, find, we will send the um, recommendation of the journal to your email. And after that, please assign again to the uh, uh, conference system, the scholar thing system that uh, you will, uh, you have to give us the confirmation whether you are agree or not with the journal recommendation. Okay, then after that, closing time, the publication opportunity at uh, January, uh, end by, end, by the end of January 2024. Okay. Okay, so this is the by the, this is the end of the session. Uh, again, on behalf of the committee, my name is Ani Wahyu Ramawati. Uh, would like to say again, thank you so much and congratulations to all the presenter, the speakers, uh, the attendees, and also thank you for the um our session chair, Prof Mosat, and also Dr Pradon for the comment, suggestion, and also encouragement that uh, give us the benefit of the research presentation. I hope that everyone also get a benefit from the discussion uh, through this academic uh, presentation session. Thank you again, and don't forget to join yeah. the same Zoom link by tomorrow because yeah, we have the uh, agenda yeah, for the appreciation. Uh, for all of the session chair, including Prof. Mossad and also Dr. Pradon. And uh, all of you can join also the same Zoom link in uh, the same uh, room. Okay, then uh, after this, uh, all of you can take rest. <laughs> uh, in the on-site participants, we will um, continue the next activity, uh, welcome dinner, and also um, try the uh, quiz. Uh, and then also uh, um, uh, visiting the uh, Halal uh, Small Business Expo in uh, Bangkok. I hope that uh, all of you can join the next ISATEC in 2024 and we can feel the different ambience of the research presentation. Thank you. See you again tomorrow. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Thank you so much, Prof. Mossad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Halal is an Arabic word. It means allow. Some people think that halal is mean food. No, it's not food. It's anything. It allow for Muslim to eat, to consume, to behave, to use, or even service. I am uh, Associate Professor Dr. Vinay Dahlan. I'm the founding director of the Halal Science Center at Jalanokon University.